I, I don't know. Start counting. Five, six, seven. In four, five. damn it! Look at me! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, was I rushing or was I dragging? No. Count again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference! What's up, young scholars? This the dad cipher. Many of my students see me, but they don't. See, they see me as abandoning father, returning, reform addict, learning era of his ways. Incarcerated Scarface returning from a beard, returning to his kid, making up for lost time. And I'm the extra large professor, black male professor, afraid to confess and to profess my sins as a father. They picture me as a logical, mythological unicorn whose work centers on fatherhood and hip hop. But their hearts would drop as I fall from my pedestal. Like Michael Coleon in Godfather 3, I return to the dawn of my children when they suckled on spoiled breast milk and daddy's guilt, not knowing how to be a father. Firstborn suffered the scorn of my insecurities. Tried to write his life as a revision of mine. Showed no affection, only false sense of power. Forced him to devour the best of me and shit out the worst. I became his curse. I coerced him to be the antithesis of me. See, he was supposed to be my strength to my weakness. Confidence to my bitch assness. My, my self-hatred in verse. I made him rehearse my trauma like an understudy. And when he forgot his lines... I took it as him getting out of line. So oftentimes I put him in line. Oh, damn it, look at me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How could I crush his spirit? The son that I love, the son I would die for, the son who changed my life, made me want to be a man. Yet he's the same one I choked, I paddled, cursed out. Because he could not be the Superman to my Clark Kent. And I hate DC. Second born suffered my scorn. The apple of my eye. Baby girl sat on my lap while I read Native Son. Little did she know I was bigger Thomas for I did not live up to the promise to protect her from a wasp who would sip her nectar and leave his stinger in her soul. Each court date. Each continuous, I continuously wrath and pain, wanting to inflict wrath and pain like Kevin Spacey in Seven. As she opens up her box, she finds my castrated head, rustic court scales, and a broken shield that reaps of my betrayal and lost sanity. She told little brother she would handle me because they didn't do the laundry. And at that moment, she shapeshifted into her mother before me. And I took out my rage, tried to blot her image from my tear-soaked page, tried to erase the man who took her innocent with each mush, each lash of the belt, each mark dimmed the, spark, the spark, 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 spark in my little my girl's, girl's eyes. eyes. Oh, damn it, look at me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I became her abuser and I failed at being her protector. When she needed my love the most. Last borns felt the least of my scorn. Yet my open hand sunk into twin two cheek like butter. Wonder did I cause his stutter. Ironic an English professor not using his words. Hands become an action verse for the slightest offense. And I was convinced that James from Good Time was the correct model of discipline. So I can understand Adrian Peterson and I can understand Clef Dollar when he grabbed his daughter by the collar. So why should I spare the rod? Oh, damn it. Look at me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Until I witnessed first and second born torment twin number one. I recognized the damage that I had done passing down my trauma like family heirloom. If only they could witness the blood of my blood, the flesh of my flesh, the double consciousness, the war between my spirit and my flesh. Perhaps they were some, perhaps they could see my good intentions for their life was supposed to be a Cosby show episode. You know, the kind where Cliff would solve the problems with a joke and Claire would break in the song and all the wrongs would be fixed with the audience applause. 
But what happens when Cliff and Claire are broken, looking to one another for completeness when they haven't learned how to find happiness within their selves? What happens when Cliff has to reveal to his four little brown angels, mommy and daddy is getting a divorce and he failed to keep them together as they transition each week in a Walmart parking lot? Fuck my story. 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 One cannot be victim and perpetrator. As fathers, we have to be greater in our execution. Good intentions and bad execution leads to the execution of our children's childhood. Let it be understood your kids don't need your excuses. They need your apologies. Your willingness to stand in your mess and show them your fucked upness. Remix your fatherhood narrative. What's up to all my dads out there? Um, it was extremely hard for me to share all the wrongs that I did as a father. I just want to first and foremost say, as a fatherless father, a lot of times you're not given a manual on how to go about raising your kids. I mean, I was lost for a while, but that's still no excuse. I passed down a lot of trauma to my children, a lot of things that I'm not proud of. All I could say to my children is that dad is so sorry. I wish I knew then what I know now, but I want you guys to know that I'm doing everything every day to change, to be a better man. And I want to help other fathers to be better men as well. Uh, I would say to all the dads and all the people out there co-parenting, please get mental help counseling, not just the church, although the church will help too or whatever your spiritual place of worship can help. But I also recommend just you guys do um, a lot of counseling and professional counseling. On the next episode of Dad Cipher, I will tell you what I did to change from being uh, an abusive father to a loving father. So uh, please uh, watch this next episode, especially if you're struggling like I was. This is the Extra Large Professor. I'm out.